In this video, I'm gonna show you how to format a micro SD card to FAT32. Now, if you're doing this for PSP, don't go above 128 gigabytes on your micro SD card or it won't work for the Nintendo 3DS and the new Nintendo 3DS. It's recommended to stick with 32 gigabytes or it might slow your handheld down. But if you wanna go larger than that, it's recommended not to go above 128 gigabytes. Now for the Nintendo 3DS and the PSP, the easiest solution is 32 gigabytes for your micro SD card, because then you can format your micro SD card natively with Windows. But if you go above 32 gigabytes, you're gonna to have to follow this video in order to format it. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put this micro SD card into an SD card adapter. It's just the standard size of an SD card. And then if your PC or your laptop has a port for SD cards, you can put that in there. Or you can get one of these SD card adapters with a USB cable and put the SD card in there and then just plug it into your computer. Okay guys, right here is my micro SD card. It's USB drive I. Make sure you're not selecting your actual hard drive on your computer, which I have two. I have C and I have F, so just double check. When you select this, it should show you the contents of your SD card, so that'll be a pretty dead giveaway, whether it's your hard drive or your SD card. So if you right click here and then go to format, you want it to be FAT32, but it's only giving me two options here, NTFS and XFAT, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna have to find a different solution to format this SD card. So you're gonna wanna go to this website right here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video so you can easily go to it. So you're gonna click show all files, then click this FAT32 GUI formatter EXE, and then just download it to your downloads folder. All right, once that's downloaded, you can open up that downloads folder, double click it, hit yes. Okay, again, make sure you're selecting your SD card. You don't wanna format your hard drive for your PC. So mine is I, Leave the allocation unit size to default, which is 32,000. Then you can just leave this as quick format and then click start. Do you really want to format drive I? All data will be lost, hit okay. Okay, so when I tried running that program, I was getting an error. So to fix it, I just went back to the SD card and I formatted it using my computer. I just left it on XFAT, left all the default options, hit start formatted it, and then I reopened that application. And the first time I did it, it didn't actually format it all the way through, so I ran it a second time and then it did work. So just to show you. And that time it actually worked. I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. I really appreciate it.